Hello everyone, welcome to Bees Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the Valiverse Action Force Joe Fest slash Valicon exclusive, the Warpath Eclipse. So Warpath Eclipse comes in this beautiful box, uh, red and blues, very uh, indigenous peoples vibes, Native American, whatever you want to call it. Um, you get the artwork on the side. That looks that looks fantastic. I might actually. I got, I'm going to cut up the box here afterwards. It's going to break my heart, but um, I'm just playing the figure out of box. So no point in having an empty box when I can just slice it up and keep what I want. And that looks that looks fantastic. That's actually her tattoo. We'll, we'll circle to that when we get to the figure. Action Force on the side. Action Force in the front. She's not called Warpath Eclipse on the box, though. Get your red and blue over here. Valiverse logo. Warpath Eclipse on the UPC, though. And then your legalese. You get some artwork over here on the side. It looks fantastic. On the back we get Staff Sergeant Tameo's what is this? File card combat profile. So you guys can pause it, take a take a look at it if you want. She's only two action points, which is kinda interesting to me, considering she's an exclusive, but maybe she'll just be um kinda available to everybody. You get a shot of her on the side. It's more of that tattoo in the background. You get what looks like a digital render, but sideways. And then, of course, you get the eclipse over the, uh, I guess if she's from upstate New York, that's going to be some of the Appalachians. I don't know. They run all the way up to New York. But uh, there you go. So, very, very fun box. Definitely fitting for it being a uh, ex convention exclusive, whatever you want to call it. Um, but let's dive into the, uh, the figure and everything here. We get a... Brand new um, screaming head with her uh, her war paint on it. And that looks great. Let's see if we can get these eyes for you guys. Got some teeth. Got like a random tooth over there on the side. It looks awesome. She's got the braid. She still got she still has the uh, the barrette. Beautiful face. And we'll see that um some more of that in July. With uh, Series 3.1, uh, the extended, or the uh, expression sets, or uh, upgrade sets. You get the uh, the Shema head, the Balaclava head, wrapped up. It has the war paint across the eyes, so it makes sense. Uh, this deep gray-blue head or coloring with the, the gray tassels. It looks fantastic. It looks, let me adjust my light here so it kind of looks good. Here's the... Uh, Previous one for comparison. Solid. Looks great. Looks great. Try to get these to show down below. Move those off to the side. You get black and silver. As I throw it across the thing here. Black and silver little sickle thing. You get this black and silver knife. You get three of the standard magazines. Uh, she comes as one in the package, two in her vest, and you also get three of the uh, the Magpul, you know, high speed cool guy stuff magazine, which I'll probably be displaying her with. We get this pistol, which I was just digging through my stuff, and I don't think we've seen it before. And it might have been covered that we get a new pistol. It's got a little silver compensator on the front. Looks fantastic. Um, very clean looking. We get this beauty. Uh, this new. This is new for sure. Um, we're seeing it. We're going to be seeing it here with the uh, series four and the uh, three point one sets. I believe Gemini is also going to have this, but this AR M four build. Looks fantastic. It's got this, uh, it's gray, black and gray. It looks kind of green in my thing for some reason, but it's gray, I promise. Try to move my light over here now. Um, beautiful. It's got the little angled grip up front. Got the port for blast effects. Iron sights popped up. Got a little silver, silver in there for the bolt. Looks great. And then obviously the magazines just slap up in there. That is fantastic. 
You get your typical Valiverse Action Force hands. You get your two trigger hands on the figure itself. You get two gripping hands. Two of the uh, more open C grip hands. And two fists. It looks like the wrap goes between her fingers. So that's some fun detailing. Now, the arms are going to be from Pandora, so she's got the wraps. We'll dive into the figure here. She's got the wraps. The lower arms, but... You get your typical clip set on the top. Got the war paint. Looks fantastic. There's a little bit of red in there, too, on the nose. I don't know if you guys can tell with the camera lighting. You get your blue, uh, blue scarf rolled down. The two extra magazines. Same vest as the Steel Brigade, the, basically the Action Force female team. And then you get this tattoo on the side, which looks fantastic. However, if I have the arm like this, it does not. So that's 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 my only gripe about the tattoo. Otherwise, it looks it looks so good. And then it even covers the elbow joint. So if you have the uh, the arm bent, it still kind of still kind of holds up. Looks a lot better than when you have the arm bent like that. So. I'm for it. It looks looks very, very crisp, very clean. I'm trying to get the focus for you guys. I'll be putting uh, pictures of her up my Instagram for sure because she's just a, such a fun figure. Definitely her fighting the Predator, something along those lines would be awesome. You get a green underneath tank top. I'm not going to take her part because I just waste you guys' time, but we might hear in a second. Get the armor. You get the underbelt sheath on the belt. There's your back. You get the drop leg holster with the two sculpted pistol mags in, in on it. Looks great. Then you got ah, these dang shin pads. Um, they're there. I mean, you can overlook them. It's easy. But all around fantastic figure. We'll grab regular Eclipse here and put her next to her. Why is she leaning like that? There we go. But uh, you can definitely mix and match and uh, come up with some good combinations for these two. So, both have the Brett. That new M4 is definitely better than this giant gun she came with. Anything's better than the Maxim pistols, especially for the females. But uh, let's uh, pop her apart real quick and take a look at that under undershirt. Alright, well I'm having some serious technical difficulties and uh, I'm going to be sending an email after this, but... <laughs> we can we can show off the tattoo in the meantime. Uh, there it is. It doesn't really cover here, which is kind of kind of disappointing, but you'd expect that. And uh, yeah, so I got that going on for me. So I got to deal with that here in a second. Um, <sighs> so there's that. But uh, I'll, I'll mess with that here in a little bit. We'll just throw this over like that for now so there you have it looking fierce I'm actually incredibly disappointed right now let me slap that back on and you guys know me that I don't I don't customize uh, she did have the similar wrapping as the series 3 with the, the, the wrist the legs the waist and everything um, not opposed to the SDS 3 that just had the waist um so that's how she was she was packaged in there, but well, that mirrored my whole foot, whole whole mojo here. But there you have it, the Valiverse Action Force Warpath Eclipse exclusive. Are you guys picking her up? You guys skip out? Just pick her up at Joe Fest. You you waiting for her to pop up on Valiverse.com and go from there? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, load up, grab your kit. See you in the battlegrounds.